Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gabriella. I make videos about fragrance, astrology, self care, skin care, makeup. I do vlogs and basically whatever else. Bleh. And basically whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, please stick around. I would love to have you. So today, as you can see by the title, I have done a full face of makeup suggested to me by my followers on Instagram. I asked them to give me their holy grail drugstore products. And I said, I'm not just saying you tried it once and you liked it. I'm saying you have to have this in your collection. It is everything to you. You are so grateful it exists. It is your holy grail. And people submitted some really awesome things. I've tried a lot of things that I've never tried before. Almost everything I haven't tried before. And this is the look. So if you want to see how this happened and you want to see how it wears throughout the night because I am getting ready for exams, keep on watching and you will see how we get this full face of drugstore holy grail makeup look. Okay, so I want to jump right in. Uh, my face is a little red and blotchy because I did some extractions when I got out of the shower. So there's that. But... A lot of people said they love Real Techniques brushes. I love Real Techniques as well. Um, but I have never used one of these paddly brushes. I don't know. They were all the rage like a couple years ago. All the rage. But I haven't used one. This is their Blend and Blur Foundation Brush for liquid foundation. I love Real Techniques brushes. Honestly, I'm so thankful that they keep their price point down. It's very soft. And hopefully it blends well because I really cannot stand when brushes just kind of drag my foundation around. Now, by far, the foundation that everyone was raving about was the Maybelline Fit Me. And I got the matte and poreless because I feel like that's the original because I do know they have a dewy one now. So this is 118 light beige. This doesn't have a pom-pom. Honestly, it looks kind of like a perfect shade for me. I'm really excited. All right, I don't know if the brush is soaking up a lot of the foundation or if this is just the um, formula, but it feels very, very light. But I'm getting a surprising amount of coverage from what feels really light, so that's really cool. It's very easy to blend. Um, it's just not, it's not feeling heavy or goopy or anything like that. Oh my God, okay, gonna dump that back into the bottle. Oh God. This is my first time trying Maybelline Fit Me. I know everybody talks about it, but I'm kind of a sucker for packaging in such a dumb way. And I just was never into the marketing for it or anything. Plus I love trying out luxury foundations. Um, right now I love the Dior Backstage. That's a great one. I feel like this is a really good one for like dates and looking flawless, but it's not cakey at all. And I have combo skin, I suppose. I mean, it can be pretty flaky and dehydrated because I'm on retinol. This is looking amazing. I mean, I look like a Victorian ghost right now, but so many foundations, I feel like you can put them on and they might even your skin tone, but they make your skin texture look even worse. And there is nothing that makes me feel more insecure. I just wanna show you, there's absolutely no streaking no catching on dry patches. It's doing a pretty good job at covering redness, but I can still see like my freckles peeking through, which I really like. I'm going to just pat it on a couple more spots where I feel like I could use a little bit more foundation coverage. It's not so much like a blemish, but it's more just I need uh, to even out my skin tone. I was about to say, y'all better have me looking right on my date. <laughs> and it's still looking good. It is building really well. And I have a really dry patch at the corner of my mouth because I was at the dentist and they basically tore my mouth open. I was holding it open for so long and I was like, this is not making it look crusty. Also, this brush is really easy to use. I was afraid that I wouldn't like it because of the long handle, but I do. Again, Victorian Ghost, but this is not completely flat. Uh, let me just, okay, I'm loving this. I'm gonna move on with concealer. I also got recommended the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Some people even just said the whole Maybelline Fit Me line. This is the concealer in light 15. Okay, this is very, very yellow. We'll see how this goes. I mean, maybe this will be nice for under the eyes. 
And then I'll conceal a little bit here and around the nose. Yeah, this is a lot more yellow than I've been wearing. Just gonna use one of these. Is this what I'm gonna use? Yeah, it's just a Tarte brush. Because I don't have um, a Real Techniques or drugstore concealer brush. No cakiness, and I usually am really, or uh, flakiness rather, I'm usually really, really flaky around the nose. Let's blend this out. Please don't end up making me look like I have an orange sunglass tan. Actually, I think this is fine. It looks really natural because um, it's canceling out that, that darkness, but it doesn't look like uh, I'm doing that extreme triangle concealer thing. I think that can look really cool like, you know, in nighttime lighting or I don't know, Instagram glam, but in real life, sometimes with that really light highlight, uh, highlighted concealer look, I just, I look like, you know, the Donald Trump tanning bed type of look. Okay, so far so good. I'm really happy. The base is looking good. I'm going to leave it for now because I don't, I don't have any powder. I didn't buy any powder. People recommended a lot of people the Maybelline Fit Me powder, but I already have a, a Fenty loose powder that I really like that was quite expensive, so I just didn't feel like adding one more to my collection right now, if I'm honest. I'm gonna move on with the eyes. Uh, the Milani Eyeshadow Primer was recommended to me by my friend Amelia. I have also seen this all over YouTube, I remember, for a long time. So it's a, it's a fair skin tone color. Oh yeah, it feels like Smashbox, you know, it feels very silicone, silicone-y, which is interesting. I don't think I've ever used an eyeshadow primer. I haven't used an eyeshadow primer in years, period. But this will be nice to see, to remind myself if, you know, if I like eyeshadow primer. Yeah, it, so far it feels a little sticky. It has smoothed out my eyelids. I think it's kind of uh, neutralized some of the pigment a little bit. I'm gonna wipe my lips off because that was really adding to the ghost look. Okay, so someone recommended Milani eyeshadows and I picked up this palette. This is the most wanted eyeshadow palette, 110 Partner in Crime. And I like this because it's cooler tones and they look to be all mattes. So I'm gonna use this lightest cream color all over. This is pretty much my everyday type of eyeshadow look if all goes well with you know how it applies so i do a nice wash of a creamy color i concentrate a lot of that on the lid because i think it opens up my eyes i don't have a lot of lid space it's average pigment i would say it's not anything crazy but it works for me it's just fine for me all right i'm gonna take this tokidoki blending brush i've literally had since high school and i'm gonna mix these next two colors, which are a cool tone taupe and a light pinky blush. And I like to just put tones like that above my natural crease. And then I like to extend it until it's kind of nice and blended at the edges. I like these colors a lot and I'm happy with, they're really smooth. I'm not getting any patchiness. The foundation is still looking great. The concealer too. This is the only area that looks a little crusty, but it is crusty, makeup or not, because I have a wound at the corner of my mouth, so I am not going to judge that. Then I'm going to add, I'm just going to mix the, the, the blush and the more deep mauve, and I think that's going to be it. I don't really wear too dark of shadow on the eyes. So that's just gonna go at the outer corner and I'm gonna kind of extend it out and maybe a little bit on the outer lid. And it's nice because sometimes tones like this, they just start to kind of, depending on how the pigmentation is, they can just start to look kind of muddy. But I wouldn't say that these look muddy at all. And there is a really nice luminosity to this base. It's like a, it's like a lively matte. Uh, poreless, definitely my pores look really Invisible here uh, Maybe for the for this eyeshadow. The only other thing I'm gonna do is take a pencil brush and Mix now the dark mauve and this dusty brown and Put that under my eyes 
really happy with that. That would be a great one to bring when I travel because that's just super, super convenient. Let's do some brows. I am gonna use the NYX Professional Fill and Fluff. People were telling me they love NYX brow products and e.l.f. brow products. Some people weren't even specific, they were just like all of the e.l.f. brow, pro brow products, all of the NYX brow products. Um, and everybody looks for something different in brow products. I can't say that. With their brows, uh, I already have very pigmented brows. I have nothing on them. They're thick and dark, so I don't really need anything to like fill them in that much. This is the boyfriend gene of the eyebrow world. Very trendy, NYX, very nice. All-in-one brow pencil features a smooth, waxy pomade for shading and a paddle brush for fluffing. Okay, so there's the little pow <laughs> paddle brush that looks like the mini version of this. And then this pomade. And the color that I got is espresso. Just gonna fill in a little bit here. Definitely waxy, I can already feel that. There's like a nice drag while I'm applying it. But see, I don't really need that much pigment and it starts to look kind of weird even. So I'm just not gonna do that much. But you know, I think for people who want volume and to make their eyebrows look textured almost, I think this could be really good. Okay, see now I kind of look like I have a block brow, but that's not this product's fault. It's just, let's brush it through, okay? Ah, no. I gotta clean that up in a second. Definitely nicely pigmented. Is this the perfect brow product for me? No, probably not. Is it good? Yeah, I mean, I do like it. I just think for me, see that looks a little heavy. I mean, it'll be okay when I even it out with eye makeup. I just think for me, the perfect brow product, or the perfect brow thing is just to get my eyebrows done and that's it. I'm gonna clean up because I feel like I got some of the pigment here, so I'm just taking that Fit Me concealer. This is great, this concealer. I can layer it and it looks totally fine. Then I got this Brow Glue by NYX Instant Brow Styler. This interested me. Now, am I someone who does soap brows? No. Have my brows been laminated or styled in any way to look good when they're brushed straight up? No. Do they particularly look good when they're brushed straight up? Not really. But am I curious and do I like to try trends? Absolutely. So, NYX the brow glue. And it's a tiny little mascara looking brush and I'm scared. But we're gonna do this together, okay? If I don't look good, I don't look good. It's fine. All right, it's definitely helping me brush them up. Okay. Could I be one for the fluffy brow? Who knows? We'll see if this holds but I hope you can see there is a difference. Again, my eyebrows are not that long that like, you can't really tell when I haven't brushed up that much because it's not like I'm gonna look like a great horned owl, you know, but there is a little bit of length to play with. You see how it kind of defines them? Okay, yeah, I feel it like drying down now and I think if I kept going, it would get a little bit uh, like crusty. I don't know, cr I don't know. I do like this though. I think, and I think for anybody with longer brows, it's gonna really make them stick up. Is this a makeup headband? Ulta gave me some gift and I think, oh, I think it is. <sighs> okay, so that's what we're working with so far. Um, now, I'm gonna do some blush because why not? Because, uh, actually no, bronzer. A couple people said the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I know people really do like the butter bronzer. It is like a cult favorite. I had it once and it went on really patchy on me. Um, and I remember I gave it to my mom. Somebody said the Maybelline City Bronzer. And I thought, you know what? I'm curious about that one. It's matte. This is in 200. I think this is their medium shade. It's not the biggest shade selection, but I am curious about it. And again, I did want to use your faves, but I have tried the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and again, it's just not my favorite. Maybe it was also too warm. I don't know. Maybelline City Bronzer. I'm just gonna pick that up on an EcoTools brush. EcoTools is an affordable uh, brush brand, and I love them. 
This says it's a contour and contour and bronzer. Ooh, this is really nice and natural. Yeah, there is a lot of dust coming up, but not a crazy amount, it's fine. Wow, this is so pretty. This is so good for like a no makeup makeup look. Cause I, I don't carve out my cheekbones anymore. It's been a long time since I did full drag, you know honey? So, wow. This is just giving me such nice color to my face. Honestly, like that's pretty much, instead of a setting powder, that works for me. Then Milani, I know people love this blush. Is this their Luminoso or what is it called? Oh, this is just their baked powder blush, but someone recommended the color Luminoso. Luminoso was a really peachy color and I don't really wear peachy anymore. I try to stay away from super warm colors because I am a cool, a deep winter uh, color palette. So I got Berry Amore, which is number three. So it's a berry color and there is a little bit of bronze running through there. Definitely looks like it's gonna be nice and luminous, which is always fun to add. I also did not pick up a highlighter because someone recommended the ColourPop highlighters and I used to have one and I gave it away. And again, I just didn't wanna buy for the sake of buying and I'm not into crazy highlight anyway. So if I can double task, multitask, with a blush and a, a, a luminous blush that gives me some shine, then that is enough for me. So cute on the nose, I could scream. I love that this foundation, the Fit Me, I love that I can still see my freckles. I really do like that. I guess it is just kind of a baked blush. It's not really that, there's no, there's no visible sparkle or metallic finish that I can see, but it is, I look alive, and I like that. Definitely love this shade too. I love it on the, I think it's cute. I mean, maybe I'm wearing a little bit much on the nose, but we'll see. That's number three, Berry Amore. Like that a lot. Okay, well I'm gonna set the face. Uh, my best friend Kira loves the NYX uh, setting spray. I'm not sure what she uses. I know they have a dewy, a matte, and a radiant finish. I got radiant because why not? And I'm hoping it has a little glitter in there because that would be fun. <laughs> Let's see, this is apparently long lasting. All of them say long lasting, so hopefully, we'll see through the end of my date how this makeup holds up. And you know what, I will, I'll show you. Oh gosh, my, my skin looks really nice. I love this base. It doesn't really have a smell. It just sounds like, it smells like a normal setting spray. It doesn't smell like they like tried to add fragrance to it. I don't know if I can see anything sparkly at the moment, but it feels nice. It's not burning my skin. I've got sensitive skin, so sometimes I do burn from setting sprays, so that's good. All right, here's one thing I'm excited about. I have wanted a waterproof black liner that doesn't move because I like how it looks, but it always gets into the inner corners. I get those boogers, those eye boogers, and then it also makes me look like a raccoon within a couple hours if I have anything moisturizing on my face, and I don't like that. Okay, oh wow. Yeah, this is definitely radiant finish, this finishing spray. I probably didn't need as much as I put on. I'm gonna tight line my lash line, my upper lash line. Woo! This is going on really creamy. I don't have to rub hard at all, thank God, obviously. There's that. It just adds a little bit of thickness to the lash line. Nothing too crazy. Okay, that is infallible long wear eye pencil. We'll see how that wears throughout this application and into the end of the night. I'm gonna apply some brown liquid liner. This is very 2021. This is the L'Oreal Paris liquid eyeliner, uh, super slim. This is up to 12 hours, 401 brown. So I'm assuming this is just a matte dark brown. I've been trying to do that very thin, nice, wispy liner that's so in, and I've been using like an angled liner brush and just wetting some eyeshadow, and it's not, I don't know, maybe my, my brush isn't as like sharp enough, but it's just not, my favorite look. So hopefully, this will give me what I'm looking for. Oh. Hmm. It's like kind of dragging a little bit. I'm used to a wetter formula, so I do feel like I almost need to like pull my eye to use this, which I know isn't the best, but okay, I have to say this formula is Pretty dry, 
and kind of hard to work with. Well, see there, it looks perfect. I guess it does bend. Maybe I just need to press a little bit more. Or maybe I needed to, okay, I think I need to warm it up. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say y'all, I mean, it looks fine. It's not that sharp and it's not that clean. I couldn't really get that long. I just wanted to do one long whew, and it just, I can feel it drying on my hand here. Like it, my skin feels tight. So that means it's really drying down and I'm sure that it's gonna last all night, but I don't really like this formula. The most exciting part of this video is coming up and hopefully this makes up for the weird liner. This black liner, uh, is looking pretty good I guess it's not really transferring to the bottom it is going in here as it usually does but we'll take a look at that later I'm not gonna worry about that now you guys suggested the most Maybelline lash sensational mascara and in very black is what I got I know they have the new Lash Sensational Sky High, which a couple people recommended, but I thought I'd go with the OG. I don't think I've tried this one. All right, it's like a sort of plastic silicone -y brush with tiny, tiny, tiny little bristles. Not too big, a nice long wand, so if I do this, it's not gonna like hit my nose. I'm gonna do this on the right eye. Also, it's always hard because you know, I think mascara is not at its best when you first open it. It should be, but but I'm so excited. I, a lot of you also recommended Essence Lash Princess, which I love. I love that mascara, but the last couple times I had a, a bottle of it, it was transferring all over. Maybe it was the foundation I was wearing was particularly oily. It could have been that. I think I was wearing a lot of like organic clean makeup or whatever, which a lot of that is greenwashed anyway and it's just full of oil that isn't good for me but um i think it was the oil breaking it down and then it was transferring but that did make my lashes look amazing and i wore it on stage for like seven months in a row that it was like a three dollar mascara and i never i don't wear falsies on stage because i don't like to and um that mascara everyone thought i was wearing falsies Okay, y'all, this looks really good. <laughs> I keep adding more and I'm not getting clumpy. A really nice amount comes out on the brush. I feel like the formula is not waxy, but it's just kind of dry enough that I'm able to build. Ooh, and the, the small tip of the brush can really get me at the inner corners. I don't even know why I'm describing this because I'm sure most of you have tried this. I, but but that's that, and I'm really excited to see how they hold the curl as well because that is important to me because my lashes are so straight. They are so straight that I'm getting a lash lift for the first time on Thursday because I just want to see if I like it because I love how my lashes look right now, like nice and open and curled, not clumpy at all. They look fluffy and wispy, but now on the other side, I'm going to try L'Oreal Telescopic, and I feel like this has been around for forever. Even this packaging looks kind of vintage and I like it 905 black I think I'm gonna like this one because I'm into long 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 lashes that's the most important thing for mascara it's not volume and it's not like making my lashes look darker for me it is all about looking like I have the longest lashes ever okay it's a real skinny one doesn't look like there's a lot of product on there at all but we'll see oh and honey she was wrong oh sweetheart she was so wrong what have you done? What have you nasty little gremlins introduced me to? Snuff buckets. Oh my God. Dare I say, if I kept layering this on, my lashes might be too long? Okay, so the thing with this one, telescopic, it's definitely a different look. It's definitely longer, but a, a couple of them are sticking together. They look less fluffy than the last sen Lash Sensational. This is more, you know, that full fan effect, fluffy falsies, and this is just long as hell. All right, so Lash Sensational, Maybelline, Telescopic, L'Oreal. I just think Telescopic really surprised me, and that's what I'm looking for, like long long 
you guys did not do me dirty with the mascara. A round of applause. Thank you. Okay. Now, what else do we have left? We have lips. I was suggested a NYX lip liner in the color Toulouse. They did not have it. So I picked up two. Toulouse looked like online, like, I think it kind of looked brownie if I'm not wrong. So I got the colors Ever. This is 828. This is their suede, right? Their suede lip liner. I don't know, but this is in the color Ever. Now that is Kylie Jenner lip color lip liner if I ever saw one. And then this one is called Alabama, which is, I think, more brownie. Hopefully, I'm loving a brown liner lately. I've been using brown eyeliner as my lip liner, to be honest. Oh, this is red. What? Okay. I'm going to apply the lip pencil in Ever. I like the formula of these because it's in the middle of dry enough to stay on your lips, but soft enough that you don't have to hurt yourself and drag. That's very, very pretty. I don't think I would wear this on its own unless I had a nice lip balm under it because my lips are naturally pretty dry because I don't drink enough water. So I definitely want to put something over this because it just kind of feels bare and a little bit tight. But I do think this color, I think this looks great. And I, I know that I like the lip, the NYX lip liners. All right, now I'm gonna use uh, the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Can. Someone um, recommended Abu Dhabi, actually two people. They didn't have it in stock. And also it looked almost like a, a more warm tone nude. So I'm kind of glad because I don't usually wear warm nudes like that. Um, I would definitely try it, but obviously people are recommending shades that work for them. So this can definitely seems right up my alley. Did they change the applicator? It feels like they did. Okay, Miss Can. Giving Kylie a run for her money. That is a very pretty rosy color. I'm gonna blot this. Because I feel like it's gonna go all... It's so soft that I'm like, is this gonna go all over my face? And I think you could even kind of make it like a just been kissed look with your fingers and that could be really pretty. I forgot, the last thing I'm gonna do, people did recommend ColourPop shadows. So I bought the Super Shock shadow in Amaze. Someone recommended the color Prickly Pear, but they didn't have it. I think they don't even make it anymore. So this color is bronzy, sparkly, just glam cute. There's not that much of a difference looking straight forward, but I do like this. It doesn't give you that like totally foiled look and it's not like, you know, insane glitter, but I think it's very, very pretty and subtle. Uh, another option that people did, a lot of people recommended, uh, was the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. I already have this in the color Lead the Way. I love it. So I just want to use a little, ooh, now see I love how this matte lip crayon dried down. I don't even know if I want to add this, but I'll add a little bit. Oh yeah, that just makes it more full bodied. And I love this formula. These, I haven't tried like a red one, but the nude one that I have, which is actually more impressive, the nude one that I have stays on for hours. Like, does it say 24? Because it's definitely not 24. No, super stay. Okay. Yeah, I would say it's like uh, four or five hours, even if I am eating and drinking. Ooh. Ooh, yes. That is rich, baby. I'm still adjusting to this radiant finish because this really gave me a radiant moment. I think maybe I just put a little bit too much on. So that is the drugstore full face of my followers Holy Grail products. I think it looks really nice. I hope a lot of these last a long time because we do have claims for some 12 hour and 24 hour wear. So I will check in with you later this evening and see how it all wears. But thank you so much for all your recommendations because I, I am really, really impressed. I will check in with you a little later uh, and see how this all wears. 
Hey y'all, okay, so here's how it looks on an iPhone. Really good. Um, I will say I am creasing. I always crease there because I smile a lot. So I don't think it's grabbing onto dry areas because honestly, these areas are all always already dry. But I will say that if I go in the sun, this setting spray definitely has glitter. I can see it when I'm in direct sunlight. So I think it's something beautiful to use at night if you're doing like a candlelight dinner but it looks a little bit much even for me in the direct sun again i don't know if you can see but there is glitter in the setting spray so that's the update on that but i feel like on iphone i look flawless we're not in full hd at least i don't think we are and she looks good but there is glitter so that's why it looks so shiny Okay, hello everyone. It's time for the ASMR part of this video. No, but I, it's almost midnight. I've had this makeup on since I think four or 4.30. So over seven hours, I just put eye drops in. And um, this mascara, especially the, what is it called? Telescopic has held my curl pretty well. The liner's looking good. The eyeshadow, I forget that eyeshadow primer does work. Usually my eyeshadow is completely gone within a couple hours, so. Um, the base is meh. It could be better, but it's fine for me. The lips are completely gone, but I was eating and drinking and all that. So, I'm pretty pleased with this. Yeah, uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who submitted their holy grail products on my instagram i interact a lot over on instagram so follow me i'll link everything down below because i'm on there all the time much more than than i am just on youtube and i'm gonna take all of this off and go to sleep because i'm very tired thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you in my next video bye guys